Hey there folks. You might have noticed I'm using this weird text-to-speech voice thingy instead of my regular text. I think text-to-speech is a lot more entertaining so I'm gonna be using it. So I got 500 subscribers a few weeks ago and I never got to do any special videos because of it. This video is going to be one of my better ones. To celebrate 500 subscribers, I'm gonna make 2 or 3 higher quality videos. This video is going to be a list video about the main levels in Geometry Dash. From lowest difficulty to highest. If you didn't know, main levels are non-online levels made by Rob Top such as Stereo Madness and Club Step. Anyways, let's get into the list. The easiest level is up for debate and the community. It is either the first level, Stereo Madness, or the second level, Back on Track. Lol he said back on track x d d d d d d d d d d d d d d In my opinion Stereo Madness is easier than Back on Track. I feel like new players will find Stereo Madness easier because of how simple the jumps are and there are no special features like jump pads that may or may not be confusing to beginners. The triple spikes, though, almost make up for it. <laughs> Next up is of course, Back on Track. Back on Track introduces the jump pads. It also brings up more advanced jumps and includes some tricks. This level is still very 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 easy. Up next, we have Polargeist. I actually beat base after base before this level and dry out for some reason. But now, I think Polargeist is easier. It introduces jump orbs but it is overall fairly easy. Oh whoop dee doo it's time for an intermission. You might be thinking, hey dear Bob, these levels are just in the level order. Well my answer is just wait, there will be some switcheroos. Next up is dry out. I used to think this was harder than base after base. Funny thing is, I actually beat theory of everything before this level. Now that I look back, I think it was just because I didn't even try to beat dry out. Anyways, next up is base after base. Nothing to say here. Don't worry, the next few levels won't be in the same order as these. Here is the list so far. The 6th easiest level is Jumper. The reason why I put this before Can't Let Go is because it doesn't have tricky timings like Can't Let Go. The 7th easiest level is, of course, Can't Let Go. Can't Let Go is harder than Jumper because it has this hard upside down part that has many tricky timings. This part used to be insanely hard for me. Next up is Blast Processing. I was either going to put this or Cycles in this spot, but I decided to choose this. Blast processing introduces the wave mode, and when you get used to it, it becomes super easy. This level has more game modes compared to cycles, but I still think this one is easier. Cycles is the 9th easiest main level. The beginning of cycles is really annoying due to its triple spikes. Those weird jump orb tricks could also be confusing to new players. Anyways, moving on. Next up is X-Step. X-Step would be easier than cycles if it didn't have this part. Everything else is fairly easy. Here is the list so far. Theory of Everything is next up on the list. Theory of Everything has the same amount of stars as Electrodynamics and Hexagon Force, but it is a lot easier than those levels. The level is really slow and only has a few fakes, so not much memorizing is needed. The rest is just easy skill based jumps and stuff. The only hard part, in my opinion, is the mini UFO because it requires timing. Finger Dash is also an easy 12 star level like Theory of Everything. Finger Dash is fairly slow, and only has a few fast parts. If you play this level a lot, you get used to the spider parts and it becomes really easy. Next up is Time Machine. This level not only has a billion triple spikes, but it also has hard transitions. I personally don't like this level and it is really annoying. That is why it is so high on the list. The 14th easiest level is Electroman Adventures. This level is one of my favorite levels. Anyways, it doesn't have any tricky jumps, no triple spikes, and not many fakes. It also isn't fast. Next up is Geometrical Dominator. Geometrical Dominator has a similar difficulty to Electroman Adventures, but this one has fast parts, and that dark part that requires either good reaction time or memory. It also has moving blocks. Anyways, moving on. The 16th easiest level, or the 6th hardest main level is Clutterfunk. What makes this level hard is all the fakes, and the tight mini ship. There is also a tight regular ship before the drop. Overall, this level requires lots of skill. Here is the list so far. The 17th easiest, or the 5th hardest main level is Hexagon Force. Hexagon Force introduces a dual mode, 
which can get hard at times. The double ball part requires lots of practice until you are able to do it every time. It is also a very fast level and has parts where you have to have fast clicking. Next up is Electrodynamics. Electrodynamics, in my opinion, should have 13 stars. It is definitely harder than Finger Dash and Theory of Everything 1. It has tough ship parts, especially the ending ship. It is also very, very fast. Overall, it is a very hard level, and the hardest non-demon main level. Now it's time for the demons. Theory of everything too, in my opinion. It's easier than club step and deadlock. I actually beat this level a year before I beat club step. There's nothing really to say here. It's just easier than club step in my opinion. Next up is club step. Club step has many fakes and has multiple hardships that require good time. There is also a mini UFO part that needs precise timing to pass. I actually beat deadlock before this level, but I still think this is easier than deadlocked. And of course, the number one hardest main level is deadlocked. This level has multiple very hard parts. The wave parts require very fast, big controlled, clicking. This ship part requires lots of control, and this ship part requires lots of memorization. The hardest part in this level is the dual wave. There are also some tricky timings in the robot parts. Overall, this is a very hard level, and that is why it is the hardest main level. Here is the full list. Well that's it for this video. Thanks to my subscribers for getting me to not only 500 subscribers, but 550 now. Anyways, thanks for watching.